to the white flag. One lap to go for the 2004 Series Championship. There's second place Tracy. There is Jokera Wilson. So in the break zone of her, Wilson has looked very good over the last three to five laps. Can he close up here? Battling for third, here's Wilson. He's moved to Sandisk number nine to fourth spot. But he's still about five car lengths behind Bruno Jokera. Realistically, the back straight is the opportunity, probably the only one left. But he's going to be quick through here on the next left and right handers. Enough. He is not close enough. You've got to be able to get off the corner better than the guy in front of you to make a move, especially on a slick, slick street course like this. And on the last lap, Wilson again with the fastest car on the racetrack, even faster than Bourdais and Tracy. Back straight away, final time around the streets of Long Beach. Sebastian Bourdais, seven wins in 2004 on his way to his first champ car championship. Bourdais about to open 2005 with a drive from outside road two. Started fourth this afternoon. Coming to the strike, J.D. Wilmer waves the checkered flag over Sebastian Bourdais, the winner of the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. White flag next time by. There is Tagliani in the Aussie Vineyards car in third. Andrew Ranger in the tied by Jack Carr runs in second. There's the Pacific Air Deuce, your race leader, Bruno Junquera. White flag will be out this time by. Bernheim still hanging on to fourth. Wilson fifth. Bourdais up to sixth. Damata seventh. Ryan Hunter Ray in the Briggs and Stratton 31. White shuffled flag. back to eighth. There's the white. Up next for the Champ Car World Series, powered by Ford, presented by Bridgestone. Two weeks from today, the Milwaukee 225 on the Milwaukee Mile. Our live coverage on CBS Sports. We'll return to Speed Channel for you. The Edmonton Grand Prix, Champ Car Grand Prix of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. First event in Edmonton for the Champ Car World Series in a long time. More than 20 years, as a matter of fact. July 17th will be the date of that event, and you'll see our coverage here on Speed. Top three cars running nose to tail, but nobody challenging on the final lap here at Fundador Park. Bruno Jankera on his way to his first victory of the season, backing up a third at Long Beach. This could well send him to the championship lead. No challenge from Andrew Ranger. There's the MyJack tie, 27. There's the Aussie Vineyards, 15. Top three. The last three winners here at Fundador Park have won the championship. Damata, Tracy, and Bourdais. Maybe this is Juncara's year. This has been a bellwether event. Final corner for Bruno Juncara in the Pacific Care 2 car. Coming to the strike. And yeah. Hey, go on, guys. Had the horseshoe with you today, huh? Couple Bruno Juncara receiving Good applause job, guys, from Paul Newman. And his team and the MyJack Tide Bunch celebrating a second place for their driver, Andrew Ranger. With five to go this time by. White flag being shown because of the time issues. Couple of brave moves by Paul Tracy earlier on to take the lead from Jimmy Vassar, and he continues with the speed all day. Last time around for Paul Tracy and the checkered flag. Paul Tracy wins his fourth champ car event here in Milwaukee. J.D. Wilbur in the flag stand for champ car as always puts the white flag over Cristiano D'Amato. One to go at Portland International Raceway. KV team zeroing in on their first ever champ car victory. Damata can keep it between the white lines for another mile and a half. The 2002 Champ Car World Series champion back in the saddle after a couple of years in Formula One. The Bell Micro 21 has been flawless today. Justin Wilson led nearly to halfway before the Intel number nine developed a mechanical problem. Damata was there ready to capitalize. Brilliant pit strategy, a very early first fuel stop. Gave them a big advantage. Heading out of the final corner. Let's listen to the radios as Damata comes from home. Celebrating as 
the Bell Micro team wins their first Champ Car World Series race. Okay, Baldy, yep. that's the white there flag, white flag, uh, plus 3.5. J.D. Wilbur getting set with the checkers for Paul nice Tracy. Experience. Middle right telling him to be nice and smooth as they hit the backstretch. There is Almendinger. He's got his hands full now with Oriole Serbia. Good battle for second on the last lap here. Maybe we can have a look at that as we get down into oh, the turns. Oh, oh boy, Oriole look at this. Serbia. Serbia has come on so well. He seldom makes mistakes. We saw him off the road a little bit in practice yesterday. Did a loop. Did, in fact, went off the road this morning in warm-up also. Can he catch AJ? Almendinger trying to run second here. Hasn't yet been to victory lane. Almendinger has finished eighth, tenth, second at Milwaukee to Tracy, fifth at Portland. So this would be his second runner-up finish of the season. Last time around, that's the entrance to pit road. Tracy in command. Heading for the checkers in Cleveland. Paul Tracy is your winner. There's his wife, Patty, recently got married. Now have a house in Florida and Las Vegas. And some of the best donuts you'll ever see right here. Tracy Almendinger finishes second. Serbia is third. Tagliani has to settle for fourth today at the Grand Prix of Cleveland. Tag is right there. Tag is not on the rostrum as we speak, not on the podium. If he passes Almendinger, he will get to shake the champagne. And then, oh, he crashes. Oh, trouble. Almendinger, Almendinger clumps the wall on time. Oh. Gets hit by Mario Dominguez. Huge wreck as they come toward the start-finish strike. Off the exchange of corners, that was heading up the backside toward turn seven. Coming off of turn number five and six. Oh, Huge man. wreck for Almendinger, did who was running third. Did you hear the impact? Yes. Dominguez just hit him a ton. Best news, both drivers have their visors up. That is the indicator that they are okay. So these Lola chassis champ cars do their job. He got to visit with Justin of the CDW team before the race. Checkered flag waving. Of many. Over Justin Wilson of Northampton, England. Team owner Carl Russo pumping Thanks, his fists. That's great. Really appreciate the work you've done. It's hard to believe somehow. On a week that has seen his country. We like in Portland, and uh, sometimes, we, sometimes we win something a bit harder to get. Uh, uh oh, here, devastated job. by those attacks and explosions. Here's the, here's, the, here's the donut contest. Tracy leads it from Cleveland. Let's see how good Wilson is. We're going to have a competition at the end of the year. You know what? These aren't bad. We'll buy the Krispy Kremes for him. He didn't go long enough. They're not bad. They're good donuts. He just didn't go long enough. Tracy still leads the donut competition. Yeah. No. 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 That's pretty good. Nah, it's average. Tracy's are better. All right. Only one win, but he is the championship leader. Bourdais with an opportunity here to outscore Tracy again. But look at PT back there. Oh, look at Wilson there. PT now being challenged by Wilson. Can Wilson get onto the rostrum? Can he get on the podium? One more time. Oh, Wilson's going to have a go. I bet you he has a go here. White flag has been waved over the leaders. Bourdais leads Serbia by five tenths of a second. Where can he do? Where can he take the chance? Justin Wilson dogging Tracy. Oh, he is. This is for third. Tracy in the Avalanche Bay in deck car runs in third spot. And remember, if Wilson sticks his nose in, Tracy better think of the championship. You can't have contact here, so you might let him go if he's brave enough to stick his nose in. Sebastian Bourdais, final few corners in front of him. Oriol will serve you. On pace for yet another podium in relief of Bruno Junqueira. That's turn 10. This is where Tracy had the trouble, trouble in the break zone earlier. Leader out of 12. A couple of corners to go for Bourdais. Top four, nose to tail. About half a mile from home in Edmonton. Wow. Here comes Sebastian Bourdais for the victory in Edmonton. Serbia finishes second. Saw it or 
is then a dope. One lap to lap. go. J.D. Wilbur puts the white flag on display here in San Jose, and Bourdais just needs to keep it between the concrete walls, down to the chicane. One time. Well, they'll be glad to get this animal over and done with. I have never seen a situation before that can punish a driver inside a racing car like we have witnessed when you go through this chicane on the front straight over the railway line. So Sebastian Bourdais will get a, a well-earned rest if he could just make around this half a lap. Bourdais on the pole for the third time this season, his third Bridgestone Pole Award in 2005. Driver of the McDonald's, Newman Haas, number one, in turn number 10. And Paul Newman is here as he is all the time. Newman Haas have never, ever won back-to-back -back championships, believe it or not. This is our 375th event. Heading to the checkered flag, Sebastian Bourdais, the winner. Sebastian Bourdais, who's in lap traffic. Here's the brake zone. Here's the brake zone. Can he make it? Oh, he's going down the inside. Dominguez trying to go inside. Almendinger. Almendinger tries to come back. There's traffic in the way. Almendinger back there side by side to the white flag. Off oh, the drag race. It's a right-hander. Dominguez has the advantage. Lap traffic on the inside. That's Marcus Marshall. What a fun lap here. Uh-huh. Dominguez with a great move at the end of the back stretch. Almendinger couldn't come back at him, and we've seen that before. Brilliant move by Dominguez, and this is where he's been faster. Carl Russo looks on, can hardly believe that second place is lost. Jan? When you saw that drag race, that was exactly what we heard on the radio, that Mario Dominguez had two presses of the power to pass, and that A.J. Almendinger had one. So when it came down to a drag race, the 50 horsepower made the difference. And they have used all of their power to pass time. Here's Forde, heading to turn number nine last time around this 1.65 mile street circuit in the streets of denver Bourdais will win back to back denver grand prix checkered flag in the air sebastian Bourdais in the centrix mcdonald's number one wins his sponsor's event the centrix financial chip car grand prix of denver presented by pacific care Bourdais with a dominant 15 second win over mario dominguez here comes almendinger he'll get third Serbia will come on for fourth in the Pacific Air car. And for Bourdais, back-to-back -back trips to victory lane. He has won again in the streets of death. Oh, he's blocking. Defensive drive. Here's Serbia. Serbia. Mario Serbia wants his first career win. Oh! They bang wheels. Block again through the cutoff area, and he stays in the lead. Now, the rule is there, Derek, that if, if you're forced offline, you can do that. Serbia has shaken his hand. He is waving his fist saying, you cannot do this. I have the pass made. But Serbia has now done that twice. Glock hangs on. When Glock turns in, Serbia's already there. Glock realizes that he has to give up the corner potentially or have a crash or go straight through the chicane. I'm not so sure he's going to get away with that too many more times. Unbelievable. We're hearing from Champ Car Operations. Timo Glock is yeah, going yeah, to have yeah. to give up the lead. Tony Cobbin, you're on headset with us. What's your ruling about this? Well, we gave uh, Timo a warning after the first issue, and, um, you know, he did it again. So as far as I'm concerned, Serbia had the, had the advantage on him, and uh, I, I'm asking him to switch positions right now on this lap. Coming to the one, well, we'll get uh, the white flag here. And again, that's the flexibility. He's saying switch positions. He's not going to black flag him and make him go through the pit lane. He'll simply say, Serbia got the position. Let him go ahead. Lock continues to run at the front of the pack. Tony Kappa just lap, telling lap, us lap, live. Lap. It's the last lap, of course. Serbia belongs in front. And if Glock doesn't let him by, Derek, I wonder where he'll be ranked at the conclusion here. I don't know, but, but the League of Nations street fight here is playing out, and maybe the Spaniard is going to finally get his very first win. He's going to pass him here. He's going to pass He's him. He's going to let Serbia go. We're told the Glock has been told to move over, and there goes Serbia. Glock tucks back in now. He's got a couple of quarters to try to come back. Go get him. They've let Serbia grab the lead on that ruling by Tony Kotman, the head official here for Champ Car. Serbia has never won a champ car race. He has a drag race from the hairpin. Wilson. Wilson. Justin Wilson trying to get second away from Glock. A couple of corners to go, less than half a lap to the checkers here in Montreal. Glock is going to try one more time, maybe. Is he close enough? No, no. power to pass left for either driver. Serbia leading. 
This car won here a year ago in the hands of Bruno Shankara. Woohoo! Trouble in the last corner. No, everybody stays clean, and Oriol Servia will win. Servia, what a way to win the race. Paul Gentilosi knows, understands, but what a day for Servia and for Glock. <laughs> One to go in Las Vegas. So this obviously is not team orders. I don't know with a Servia who is closing up now. Both of them on the button. Servia trying to high side Bourdais. Can he get under him? Can he cross underneath him? Down the back straightaway. Final time tonight at Las Vegas. The Nellis straightaway into three. Bourdais too high and too far behind. He's got the fastest lap of the race. It won't be enough. Bourdais off of turn four. Heading to the checkered flag for the fifth time in 2005, Sebastian Bourdais. For position, Levine and Bernheim. And Levine by a foot gets fifth. A top five for Rodolfo Levine after wrecking his primary car yesterday. Brings the backup car home in fifth, getting by his teammate. Bourdais' fifth victory of the season. This one, though, will be under protest from team owner Jerry Forsyth. Oh, will it ever. White flag this time by Sebastian Bourdais. One to go. Bourdais about to become the 15th different winner in 15 of these Champ Car Grand Prix of Australia. There's the McDonald's number one. Season champion by taking the green here today. Second consecutive title for Bourdais from Le Mans, France. And if you think he just popped out of nowhere and you, uh, people never heard of him, he came from the European Formula 3000 Championship, which is one of the most difficult of all championships to win. He won the Monaco round of the Formula 3000 race, which is the most difficult of all races to win. So Bourdais, who really would still like at least a test in a Formula 1 car because he believes he can prove Formula 1 people wrong. Many people over here believe the same thing. But there's still something in the back of his mind, a regret almost, that nobody in Formula 1 threw him in just to see how good he really was. But everybody over here in Champ Car believes one of the best that ever sat into one of these Champ Cars. His winning percentage has been unbelievable. Three wins in his rookie season. Bunch of wins last year on pace to win his sixth and 12 starts this year. Sebastian Bourdais has put together another terrific, terrific season on his way to his second straight championship for the Newman Haas team. A couple of turns to go. Bourdais will see the checkered flag next time by. Tucked right up behind Andrew Ranger, who is on his way to a top 10 here at Surfers. Ranger had struggled all weekend, couldn't come to grips with the car on the racetrack at his first visit. He'll get 10th. Bourdais is your winner, Sebastian Bourdais, the 2005 Champ Car World Series champion. Puts an exclamation point on the season with victory here at Surfer's Paradise. And there is the people who spend endless hours taking the car apart. There's Kenny Seawick, right side of your picture. Craig Hansen, the engineer. Great run for A.J. Allmendinger also in the Intel car to come all the way to the other side of the world and run that well. Bourdais the winner. Allmendinger gets second. Vassar credited with third. Bourdais will lay down some croissant in victory lane. <laughs> Did you see Allmendinger stopped <laughs> to give him room? White flag is in the air for Justin Wilson. By a big chunk. Let's just bring her home, please. One to go. 2005 champ car season how polite was that bring it home please <laughs> what an awesome team technically led by david brown very experienced man from formula one was one had won world championships with nigel mansell on the williams team moved over here last year what a difference this this has made and, and just what a team a gelled well gelled team this is commercial support coming from intel from cdw from western union the whole thing starting to gain momentum now here at the end of 2005 for the roof sport team wilson on his way but derek you think back to portland it was just past halfway when an oil pump gave up wilson i'm sure is hearing everything behind him every, any possible noise that he's imagining he's hearing right now and that would be cruel that would be cruel because he has been the man all weekend. His teammate A.J. Allmendinger is second, 4.2 seconds behind. Wilson not talking on the radio. He's about half a lap away. And he 
toward the stadium corners. 16 times he started a Formula One Grand Prix, but he will tell you he loves his racing today more than at any other time in his career. Final couple of corners for Justin Wilson out of England. That's He's going to be the checker, Justin. Be cautious. There is a man on the racetrack with a checkered flag. Congratulations on your second win of the season. Great drive. Great drive. That was really brilliant. Jeff Cars, Jim Swintall there to wave the checkered flag trackside for Justin Wilson. His One second win of the four. year. And a 1-2 finish for Roosport, third consecutive pole sitter to win here in Mexico City, joining Paul Tracy two years ago, Sebastian Bourdais in 2004. Wilson leads 66 of the 70 laps today. Three lead changes, only two leaders on the day, Wilson and Rodolfo Levine. Three cautions for nine laps. And Justin Wilson dominates and comes home with his second win of the season here in Mexico City.